this year we decided to have our first signed performance uh, and we feel it's very important and vital to the students development working with uh, the BSL and also uh, helping to boost attendance of deaf and disabled uh, members of the public. We are a community college and I think reaching out to them is key to our future development. I suppose the highlight would be the New York trip that we took our HNC and D students on at Easter time. We went to take class at the Broadway Dance Centre and at Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre um, and it allows us to see how well we fare on an international platform. Um, I'm glad to say that our students did extremely well and we got a lot of excellent feedback from the people that we met and, and interacted with when we were there. One of our most memorable live projects this year happened to be the Miss Scotland Brief. Obviously I was dead excited to be involved in that, it would be good PR for the college, but most importantly it was going to be a great opportunity for the students to work together. We had a collaborative project with our final year HND Fashion Technology and Design students and they worked after class to design and manufacture the Miss Scotland outfit for her to wear in the Miss World competition, which was an excellent opportunity for all the students. In terms of the investment within the Horty Centre, it's brought the team together uh, and that, that teamwork you know, has just actually flourished uh, from there. So uh, it's, 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 been, it's been great to see and witness uh, around that just the investment in a building, in glass houses, has actually had such an impact on the team and the, the teamwork. And understanding you know, that bit where you're growing something to actually eat it and just the process through there. So that's actually uh, great. One of the important parts of this project has been the recruitment of eight mental health first aiders across the three different campuses to create an environment where they encourage people to talk about mental health so they in the future will be running a whole range of events to ensure that a legacy of change culture around mental health and promoting a whole range of events and they, they themselves will be able to deliver workshops in the future on stress management, anxiety, how to look after yourself and SAMHs will maintain a link with the college and this body of people to make sure that we continue this positive partnership in the future. We've seen an increased number of participants that use the gym and that come along to the classes. And there's, we deliver classes in the morning at seven o'clock. So if you come down here at seven in the morning, the place will be buzzing and it's a student that's actually taking the class. We are investing in a wearable tech called MyZone. We've tried it at the Cardonald site this year and it's been really it's been, it's been well received from the users, so we're hoping to roll that out across the, two, the other two sites next year. It's a motivational tool that staff can use to, um, to track their, their activity levels. School Liaison Department helps with the operational running of the School College Partnerships, of which EVIP is part of that. This year, 100% of young people in EVIP have actually gone on to a positive destination, which is absolutely fantastic. For these young people, I think the EVIP programme is an immense opportunity for them to be able to realise that college is a true alternative to mainstream education, which allows them to reach their full potential. It's been a really, really busy year. Um, we have a lot of interest in the course, not just from potential students, but also from uh, potential placements, from potential employers, and general sort of... Uh, yeah, interest from the sector. The Beauty Without Conscience was really formed to make a difference in the local community by giving the students a much more equitable opportunity to finish their work experience and um, we'd been working with the hospice for a number of years anyway to raise funds for their brick by brick appeal and then they approached us to say um, 
how about opening a beauty salon um, for the hospice. All the different charity shops are in competition with each other and it was a different model of creating revenue for the new hospice in Bella Houston Park. A really, really great event we had at Glasgow Clay College this year was the Hairstylists Against Hunger campaign. Um, the, student, the HNC students um, provided hairdressing services, cuts, hair ups, hair dazzles and nails um, in exchange for essential food and toiletries to support um, Glasgow South West Food Bank. Um, the food bank sits within our local community of Cardono campus and we were delighted to be involved in this initiative and to help those who need it most within the, the community to make a bigger impact. The award presented by the British Florist Association, there was a real buzz around the department uh, and about what we're doing. I feel like it's raised the profile of floristry within the college. This has been a bumper year for awards for the CLD um, section, particularly in the area of family learning. Uh, we've won a number of national awards. We've been invited to a number of conferences to speak about the work that we're doing. We've had great feedback from parents who have come along to the um, courses and who have described them as life-changing. 